Hello fam, I want to come on and take some time to break down some of our building my wealth principles. Um, this is a very important uh, conversation that we're going to have today for those who are looking to be liberated from regular systems of doing things. For instance, you know, if you live in America, it means just having a good credit, having a good job or source of income, qualifying for a loan, uh, purchasing property, mortgaging it if you don't have cash, and uh, making payments. And even when you make your payments, you have to pay taxes in order to keep your property. Uh, one of the things we teach in our ministry is that, you know, God owns everything. We never really, we never own anything in this world, children of God. Regardless of whether you say your mortgage is paid off, if you don't pay your taxes over a certain number of years, your county government will sell your property at a bargain basement price. So as we have this conversation, we need to understand what it is to live life to the full. Don't get so caught up in stuff or things. Live your life and enjoy the things that matter most. But for the sake of having resources and material resources while we're on our journey through this life, I want to share some principles with you of how you can purchase land, acreage, how you can purchase affordable housing. And by affordable, I mean owning a home or cars or property without you having to work two or three jobs in order to try to afford it. That's unfortunately, that has become the norm here in America. But if we can think outside of that box, using some of the principles that I'll share with you today, you'll be able to find that you can actually purchase, acquire, and have access to properties without stressing yourself out. After all, what's the point of having a lot of things in this life if you can't actually enjoy life? Here's one of the key principles that I learned as I researched some of the teachings of Dr. Martin Luther King. Of course, he's very well known for the civil rights movement in the late 50s and early 60s here in America, which did bring about a lot of systemic change with laws and voting and equal rights and things as such. But one of the key things that Dr. King talked a lot about that we don't hear a lot of information about is this economic plan that he has shifted toward near the end of his life. And here are some principles that I find to be very sound, economic principles that I find to be very sound that Dr. King was teaching. For example, this, if, you're, if you have a job or a business or a source of income, uh, if you know what that amounts to on a yearly basis, let's say you're making $50,000 a year, the principles that Dr. King was promoting based on the, based on the example of a $50,000 a year salary is that you do not buy a house that costs more than twice your annual salary. In this example, if you're making $50,000 a year, you don't buy a house or a property that costs more than a hundred thousand. If you're buying a vehicle, his principle was basically that don't buy a car that costs more than half your annual salary. So in this example of a $50,000 a year annual salary, your car shouldn't cost more than $25,000. And of course, you, you base this conversation on what your income is. So if you're making $50,000 a year, you can pretty much get a property for $100,000. It depends on what type of property you're looking at. 
and I'll talk with you some of the alternative ways that you can look at purchasing property and or homes. Some of what we're doing through our model of projects that we're doing here in Georgia and across the southeastern states where you can purchase alternative type of housing at low cost as well as buying land without the hassle of the credit checks and all of that down big down payments and such so if you're able to meet those high standards and you have money saved up then great you can choose to go the traditional path but i'm more teaching or want to reach those who would have otherwise thought that owning property was beyond their reach they don't have the credit they don't have the big down payments but you have a desire to own property and to live a good quality life most of these teachings that i'm doing is geared toward persons who may fit into that category now it's open to anybody but when you're excluded from the traditional way of acquiring loans having good credit down payments and such then here's an alternative for either you have this choice available to you you don't have to feel stuck in your financial condition this has really been one of the things that's really been pressing upon me over the last few years as I evaluated uh, my life situation and circumstances I wanted to be able to teach and equip others that may feel like they don't have any option of purchasing property you just have to be stuck in the system of doing things which usually means you're at the mercy of someone else and you can always use the same principles if not for your own primary residence you can use it as an investment you can purchase property and resell it i'm talking property pretty much land acreage residential areas uh, you can also do homes if that's what your uh, desire is but more of my conversation is about purchasing actual land itself and developing your strategy for the type of alternative housing or traditional housing whichever way you're equipped to do it so again i'm speaking more to those persons who may be priced out and don't want to have the burden of a 30-year mortgage hanging over your head especially depending on what your age is in life and of course uh, no days are promised to us in this earth the only time that is allotted to us is now but we live as if we're going to have a future and we try to make wise decisions that will affect our future or the future of our uh, family or partners or, the, or coalition that you come into agreement with so we formed our LLC Paradise Village uh, as a investment opportunity program centered around creating affordable housing initiatives for minorities and for those who are underserved in the financial sector and so as I go through the information, you can also visit our, my, way, my website, which has our model property, which is in southeast Georgia, near Savannah, a 27-acre property, all owner finance with little to no money down, um, 15 or 20-year financing. And of course, you can prepay it without any penalties. You can purchase multiple lots as I did through the example of that particular property uh, there were several lots available from ranging from five acres to seven acres uh, the decision or the vision came to me to purchase five adjoining lots which now you know makes it one a larger property with five residential lots already platted and plotted by the county and so we can build residences on each five lots. Uh, we have our own wells, own septic system, 
So once you make the initial investment into those uh, infrastructures, you're not paying payments for water and sewer and things as such. It just gives you more flexibility and a little more independence. Most of these properties that I uh, purchased that I'll be sharing with you are in rural areas and unincorporated areas of most counties across Georgia, some in uh, North, North Florida as well. And it's pretty much the same setup. You purchase the property, you visit the property, and I'll share some links with those who are interested in two of the sources or several of the sources that I have used and continue to use as investment properties to create opportunities for others who otherwise would have been priced out. And one of the initial things that I was doing with I started this project was basically for a retirement home. Not a retirement home in the sense of um, what some people may have in their mind as an old folks home or a nursing home, which those are very important for those based on their particular circumstance in life. But I was speaking more of a retirement village, so to speak, which is why we call the primary model property Paradise Village and Retreat Center, where people will be able to purchase um, affordable housing, pretty much modular or manufactured housing, uh, using our tiny home model. We have four approved models that we use all with the front port setting, which you'll see pictures and images on our website. Let me go ahead and give you that. Now it's www.ag ministries, A as in apple, G as in girl, ministries with the I E S at the end of it, dot net, and visit our Paradise Village page. You see photos of the property, uh, one of the housing models with carports, some of the features of the land, gardens, campground area, RV. This is to show you the example or the model of what you can create yourself. This is for free thinking people where you can create your own world, so to speak, create your own environment and uh, think outside of the box of what's going to make your life what you want it to be. And being financially stress-free, hopefully, is one of those things that you want to have, particularly as you age and um, get into more of your mature years. So this is something that's very important for the younger you are, so to speak, the more wealth building years you should have, all things being equal, to develop uh, a strategy or a plan that will fit worth what you want your life to be in your future. If you're approaching retirement and things as such now, this model property is an example of uh, the communities that can be built or developed that you can be a part of uh, without having to make major investments in infrastructure and resources. There's a village uh, setting where you can basically purchase your home, place it on one of the lots in the village, and we all have a communal association fee that covers landscaping and maintenance, security, infrastructure, investments that we all contribute to, but you stay on the property for free. Just purchase your home, place it there, and you stay on the property for free. We pretty much have that program designed for those who are age 55 and up. And we're going to, we're using our property in Southeast Georgia as a model for what we hope to expand into seven other states across the Southeast and U.S. Right now we're keying in on Georgia and Florida, South Carolina, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and, and parts of Tennessee. But this is something that can be done in any part of America or, or for the world as far as that goes. But we're talking now about the opportunities that I am personally aware of, personally a part of, and it's very simple for you to take advantage of these two. So let's get into uh, one of the ways that you can get started 
purchasing a residential lot or farm or acreage. One of the examples from which we use for our model property in Southeast Georgia, uh, and I share a little bit with you. Initially, we were looking at a seven acre lot, but there were four other five acre lots surrounding it. And it really just came to my mind, or well, God put in my spirit that whatever he does for me, I should be an extension to do for others, or at least give them access to. This is why I said we don't have to worry about being caught up in owning per se, because we don't really ever own anything in this world, but we have access to things while we in the earth. And we need to have a plan and purpose for all the things that we have access to, whether that's money, resources, people, knowledge, information. We should freely be able to share that so others can be empowered as well. So again, this first example, I'm looking at a seven acre lot. The initial cost would have been $350 to process the paperwork, titles with the court and, and all that. And that's, that would, that's it. That's all I had to pay to get started with purchasing seven acres of land. Now, I think the price may have been uh, around $29,000 for seven acres. Uh, this is farmland already cleared. There were no trees. There used to be a farm, so they were growing crops and such. So we didn't have to make any investment into clearing the land getting timber cut, any of that. So that's one of the things you want to consider as you purchase property is whether the land is already cleared or whether you have to make the investment in clearing the property and doing a lot of landscape work in order to bring it to where it's buildable. Always try to find properties that are pretty much already cleared uh, to cut that house on out, even though that may take away from the effect of having a little bit of tree line or forest on your property. So it's based on what type of setting you want to create. And a lot of times, if you do purchase land that has uh, trees, mature sized trees, depending on the type of trees, you can sell those trees off to a lumber company and they'll come and cut the property, cut the timber, pay you for the timber, and you have some of that work done that way. So these are some of the things you want to consider as you look at the various types of properties. So again, you see, from the example that I gave you, it only cost $350 to purchase the property. Uh, owner finance for 20 years. Payments came out to be about $240 a month. Okay, so just using that example, you see how easy it is. Uh, and, uh, and, I, and I failed to mention this. No credit checks, no bank qualifying, any of that. You just go view the property. You reserve your property. You make your payments on your property. You begin to develop it however way you see fit. You can pay the land off anytime you would like early. And uh, and basically, from what the way we view life in America, is that the property is yours. All right. So that was very simple, saints of God. Now we went the alternative route, what's called a tiny house, because the whole point of what we're doing with the village, with the main emphasis being on the retirement uh, sector, or demographic, 55 and up, we want people to have a good quality of life in their, what they call the golden years or fourth quarter of their life. So all the housing initiative through our Paradise Village LLC is for sustainable, affordable housing. So the tiny house that we've got about 400 square feet, you see photos on our website. Um, I think the sale price was $32,000. That's it, saying some people buy SUVs or cars that cost $32,000. Uh, we financed it for 10 years. Okay, you can pay that off early as you see fit. And we have other models that range from that low end model from which I just talked with you about, which is 
then you have to invest in your well and septic system, uh, underpinning, skirting, bricking, um, things as such. I think it brought a total up to $48,000. Total, complete, ready to live in at that point. And the house came with a um, washer dryer, AC, heat, um, kitchen appliances, already added with included within that price so you've already seen the benefit of the model that we're stressing is the sustainable affordable housing now there are at least three other models that we have approved to be placed in our villages that is the properties that we purchase and that we make available to those who want to live in community or live in one of the villages that we as we develop them uh, the next one up from the 400 square foot model, which we have placed on our property in Southeast Georgia, is um, it comes up to 880 square feet. And I think that starts right around, I want to say $40,000. The next level is uh, 1130 square feet. I think that starts at like 52,000. And uh, the larger size model, double wide model, all with the front porch, I think the highest one is $68,000. So whenever from 32 to $68,000, you have a brand new home that you create and design and choose the options that you want for color scheme, countertops, flooring, and and such that is pretty affordable for most people with a low to moderate even those with a low or moderate income so the models that we have is that you can either purchase those homes place them inside one of the, on one of the village lots or you can purchase your own property and place your home or build a site build home is all based on what your financial situations are even though i'm speaking more to those who are maybe on the lower income side may have felt priced out or you're aging and you want to downsize and you're looking to have a maintenance free uh, retirement years but the options are available for all plans that you may want to pursue even including site built homes. So just because I'm focusing on our vision and mission for what we have initiated our initiative for, you can still expand that to other options and alternatives as well. So based on the information that I've just shared with you, there's something just a little bit of how the process can work and, and the process with the housing manufacturer that we use with that $32,000 purchase of a tiny home. I think we put um, $3,500 down on it. And like I mentioned, financed it for 10 years. And I think the payments are $430, $436 a month, something to that region. So that home is sitting on a five acre lot which costs about $200 a month and the house itself costs 436 a month. So for $636 a month, you can purchase from the example that we use, you can purchase a five acre lot, which if you're not familiar with how large that is, that's about five football fields of land. This is cleared farmland, okay? and a 400 square foot one bedroom uh, tiny home for 436 so five acres of land a 400 square foot home for 636 dollars a month so i think we use an example on our site about housing costs if you're renting somewhere it's, it's definitely more than likely, depending on where you live, if it's a decent place, you're definitely paying more than $636 a month. 
And plus, you don't have control over it. You're certainly not living on five acres of your own land. And uh, you're certainly not going to be able to purchase wherever you are for, within seven years or less. So if you, if you can afford to pay more than $636 a month, then you can double that payment and pay it off in three years and just use money to enjoy the rest of life with other things you want to pursue in life. Another thing I like to encourage people in, not only for the youth or middle age, is uh, besides your job or then think about starting a business or investing in a business. One of the things about investing in a business doesn't mean that you have to operate the business. You just invest in someone's business or a business of your own and you hire someone else to work the business. You simply get your percentages off of it. Uh, and it's called passive or residual income. So we can talk with you a lot about that as well. But this is one of the first little blogs that I want to put out about building my wealth. How simple, how inexpensive, how affordable, and how accessible it is for most people to purchase property, to develop property, to have something that you can transfer to your children's children, or just use as an investment or income property. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can visit our main website, which is again, www.agministries.net. Look for our Paradise Village page. You can also visit my our Facebook page, Paradise Village LLC. You'll see lots of photos and even videos of the uh, progress, our journey with our first property in Southeast Georgia. And I would love to communicate with you, learn of your plans, your vision, and try to point you in the right direction of how you can begin this journey for yourself. It's not as complicated or as difficult as some may make it seem. So feel free to reach out to me. My email is info, I-N-F-O, at agministries.net. You can also message me through our Facebook page, which is Paradise Village LLC. And I'll be more than happy to communicate with you, to meet with you. you we can schedule a visit to our model property so you can see firsthand. Uh, how the process has manifested for us and how it can be manifested for you. So thank you again, saints. Again, may you be blessed. May, you, may your decision-making be sharp. May your wisdom be keen. And may you live a wonderful, prosperous, and blessed life. <music>